Hey guys, quick little disclaimer before we start today's video. I usually pride myself in great production and focusing on quality content. However, I was using a brand new microphone that I have not used before on my YouTube content and it doesn't sound great. So bear with me for the first eight minutes because I do switch microphones partway through. Otherwise, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. you can see me amidst the smoke and beaming sunlight, both of which I am not complaining about. Uh, that incense smells so good. It smells like a chai tea latte. It's like milky and spicy and um, I'll link it below if you want it. But the sun, I'm definitely not complaining about because I just got back from traveling on the East Coast and it was very gray. I forgot how gray and rainy it can be back on the East Coast. But nonetheless, very happy to be back in my home home in Los Angeles and sitting in front of my camera making a YouTube video because it's been a minute and as you could probably tell from the title of this video um, it's gonna be an interesting video we have a lot to cover I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of perspective as to what we're gonna be doing today if you don't want to watch this feel free to skip ahead you can go watch all the action but if you want to hang out for a second and uh, enjoy some coffee and conversation I'm gonna catch you up on my life and let you know Know why we are tearing down my living room it's for good reason I promise <laughs> lots of changes so I'm gonna cut to the chase I'm moving if you follow me on TikTok, you might have seen where I briefly mentioned this. In a TikTok where I did a little living room tour, I was set to move out end of October, and then I pushed it to end of November. And November is just flying by right before our eyes. So with the busy nature of the holiday season, travels that I just went on, but travels I have coming up, and just wanting to be uh, in a peaceful environment for Christmas, I was like, let me not move <laughs> during the holidays. <laughs> So I have my apartment that we know and love until January 31st. And believe me when I say I am looking every day on Zillow, um, probably a hundred times a day. I have notifications on. It has become my new job. It's like all consuming. And part of the reason why it's taken me a while to find the perfect place is the simple fact that I'm just at a very different place in my life uh, that I was when I got this apartment. Granted, this apartment has held up amazing stylistically and it's been the perfect environment for me to discover my taste and create a home that I really love and that feels cozy. But I've been here for over three years. When I first moved in, I was working in a completely different industry. I was living with a roommate I didn't have a dog and now that social media is my full-time job and I make a lot of content around my home I really want a place that is complimentary for that type of work um, granted this place is but they're just little things like my dining room being super dark my kitchen not really being visually in alignment with what I want. It'd be nice to have maybe an extra bedroom, an extra bathroom, a little extra just space overall. But the most important thing is I don't have a backyard. So my dog has nowhere to play unless she's on a leash and we're like walking around the neighborhood or at a friend's house or something. Providing a really enjoyable life for her is one of my top concerns right now. And because of all the criteria I've set for my next place, it's just taking a minute. Good things take time. And I'm really not wanting to sacrifice or compromise too much. I'm like a little flexible on some of the stuff, but I want it to be a place that I really love because I know I'll be there for a second, but will inevitably be like a transition home into maybe a forever home. I don't know. We'll see what the economy and my career do. But uh, all that to say, we have the holidays. Like literally now, people are already decorating for Christmas. I'm moving slow because I've been sick-ish for like a month. It's been this really weird on and off thing. I was traveling and generally speaking, I like to really savor whatever season or month I'm in. And now that we're like midway through November, I'm like, okay, we can decorate for Christmas now. But before I started with all of my decorating, 
thing, I thought to myself, I've only ever decorated really with one particular layout, which is the one that, you know, I currently have. I have this wall unit in here and it kind of locks me into doing a specific layout in this room. You can't really switch things up too much because the TV is on my wall unit and everything's sort of like focused around that, which is great and beautiful. And that wall unit's iconic. I love it so much. I'll have it forever. But I thought I was like, okay, well, since I'm moving out in like a month or so anyway, and it would be nice to get a little bit of a head start on the process. What if I took my wall unit down? and rearranged my living room, did like a little mini living room refresh. We're not like painting or anything like that, but just using things I already have in the apartment. Uh, so we're not gonna be buying anything new today. I have a couple things that I haven't taken out of the box yet that I bought like earlier this year and we will use those in this video, but we're not gonna go out shopping for anything new. We're not doing any DIYs or anything too crazy. And this could either be really cute and fun and be kind of like refreshing in a way, or it could be very sad and suck a lot of the character out of my living room that I've worked really hard to cultivate. We're gonna shift furniture around and basically get my living room ready for Christmas decorating, which will be my next video. I love the direction of what I am doing for Christmas this year. <laughs> very excited to share that with you guys for my tv we're gonna put her on wheels i have these legs where you can like roll your tv around and so we're unmounting that and i don't want to say too much i think we'll just organically let this video go how it goes yeah i'm just so happy to be back with you guys so with all of that being said let's get into today's video wanted to show the whole space before it's forever gone This part of the wall unit is my favorite with the glass doors where I can like display my books. It's so pretty. I found a bat from where I decorated for Halloween last year, uh, chilling behind the TV. <laughs> we will be covering all this with a big piece of art. <laughs> You have to be very careful with these pieces. They are super fragile. When we were installing this, we kept hearing little like cracks and stuff. <laughs> the wood is beautiful, but fragile. As are most vintage things, but you have to treat it with care. Uh, I feel like I could cry. <laughs> It's just barren now. Um, <laughs> let me let me show you. <laughs> I know it'll look better once things get into place, but it's wow. I do know that this is gonna come down. This like little strip. This was used to cover the like TV cable, and then this is covering a hole where a wall sconce used to be. Um, I don't have two of these. I just have the one. So I'm gonna take this down and put two matching ones up. The reason why there were two holes to begin with is because when I moved in to my apartment, there were wall sconces, but they were not cute. They were like plasticky and just not it. Hey, we did it. Okay, wait, little change of plans. I was gonna go ahead and swap the light out and put the new lights up, but I found drywall stuff in my utility closet and I was like, let me just attempt to do this. <laughs> I also have a little bit of paint I can use for touch-ups. It's not gonna look perfect, but it will definitely look better than it does right now. Okay, the holes are patched up. 
the wall sconce is off and I'm gonna wait for the patched holes to dry before I paint over it. I don't know if all spackling is this way, but the kind I got is pink and when it's dry, it turns white. So that's how you know it's like ready to be painted over. I am gonna take a break. I desperately need to eat. But when I get back, we're gonna put these lights up, paint over the holes and we'll see what our daylight's looking like. It gets dark so early now. We are officially in that season, so. Check in with you guys in just a bit. Okay, so you can see the spackle, which was once pink, is now white. And I have a white paint that is not the exact color of the walls in my house, but I color matched it. It's uh, actually a question a lot of people ask me, like what my wall color is. And I, I color matched it to Alabaster by Sherwin-Williams. I have a little bit of that somewhere here in the house. It's, God, it's so dark. I can't get over this. Um, so I'm thinking maybe I'll go and touch up some of these areas. It's like weird. I'm like, should I just paint the whole wall? But then it's like, I can't just paint that wall. Then I've got to paint these walls too i don't know we'll just try to paint a little and i'm pretty sure this painting is gonna go like over that anyway and it'll only really be these like tiny spots that probably would be seen let's try to touch this paint up and see what we're working with If I had a dollar for every time, I dropped a bolt today. Time for the moment of truth. We've got light and it looks really, these look really good. I'm excited about this. Good morning, you guys. All right. It is day two. I went to an event last night for the brand UGG. It was like a UGG and Post Malone collaboration. And he came out and performed. It was so cool and intimate. He was like 20 feet away from me. His voice is insane. His style is super cool. It was a lot of fun. But now that we are on our next day, it's time for the fun stuff. The thing that I love the most, which is like rearranging and decorating and really just putting our finishing touches on the space. As you can see, my sofa is up against the wall. My curiosity got the best of me and I just needed to see what the sofa looked like in this position. We're gonna play with the layout. I know the rug needs to like shift a little bit and I have my cabinet that I think I might wanna move. The plant is definitely not staying there or probably in this apartment at all because it's uh, not, she doesn't look good. I'm sorry, I wish I was better <laughs> to you. When we decorate for Christmas, we'll have a beautiful big tree replacing my plant. I am excited for the space to be a little different. As much as I love familiarity, I also need to be inspired by my space. And a lot of times that comes with like rearranging and trying new things. So that's what we're gonna do right now. All right guys, let's get to work. This is where towels come in handy. They are very helpful for sliding furniture on hardwood without scratching it. So let me go grab one.
Okay, now we're gonna put legs on the TV. There are a lot of different leg options you can get online. Like, my friend Rob has some that he got from Amazon for like $100. The ones that I got are from a brand called Pedestal, I think that's the name of the brand. But I got them off a of finished design shop, which is an online store that has really cool brands. And Pedestal is one of them. I specifically wanted these because they were in a really beautiful off white color that I couldn't find anywhere else. I feel like this is something I wouldn't typically gravitate towards, but uh, I guess we'll see what my thoughts are once we put them on the TV. <laughs> Here is exactly what I got. Pedestal, Moon, Rolling, TV Stand, and Pearl. It was originally $350, but I got it for $284, <laughs> but then shipping was $58. So it was $343 for these legs. Over the past three years of living in this apartment, I really learned home isn't about the space, but what you bring to it. As I prepare for this new chapter, I'm just reminded that even in times of change, you just have to romanticize every moment. So to wrap things up, I brought in little details like candles and books, all the elements that just make a space feel warm and beautiful. And with that being said, here's how it all came together.